Hey look, something else is spinning around me once again. Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about some new mysteries discovered in regards to phenomena that are already mysterious to begin with. Phenomena involving black holes. And more specifically, we're actually going to be discussing a relatively recent concept that the scientists were able to discover only three decades ago, the concept known as the TDE or Tidal Disruption Event. In a nutshell, we're presenting something like this. When a star or some kind of a star-like object passes relatively close to a relatively massive black hole, with the star falling apart, very likely creating some kind of an accretion disk around the black hole, and then very likely producing a lot of high energy emissions, which can then be seen from really, really, really far away and have actually been detected several times now using a lot of modern telescopes. The phenomenon that involves the concept of spaghettification where the object is literally spaghettified or turned into a very long spaghetti and then sort of falls into the black hole, although the majority of the material ends up producing the accretion disk. And although theoretically the scientists believed that they kind of understood how all of this happens, very recently another major mystery was uncovered and have been reported in three separate studies. With some of the scientists referring to this as radio bursts from zombie black holes. And so let's talk a little bit more about this because it is, once again, somewhat intriguing and somewhat interesting. But first, a little bit of history. The initial idea behind TDEs was proposed by two scientists working in the Paris Observatory. The iconic Jean-Pierre Luminet, the French astrophysicist who was actually the first to create a simulated picture of a black hole back in his 70s, and his colleague Australian Brandon Carter, who alone with Luminet back in the 80s proposed the idea of these tidal disruption events which would involve a massive black hole, some kind of a star, and a lot of spaghettification effects which they believed would produce very specific types of emissions. And within about 10 years they were proven correct when some of the first black hole interactions started to be discovered. This was found back in the early 90s using the ROSAT satellite, one of the first X-ray satellites that was able to produce and detect quite a lot of interesting data. But since then, several dozen different TDEs have been already discovered and confirmed, and most of them seem to exhibit properties originally predicted by these two astrophysicists. But naturally, all of these detections were not without mysteries. For example, some TDEs were only partial, meaning that at the end, there would still actually be some kind of a star-like object left behind. Some of the recent studies simulating this discovered that it basically all has to do with the mass of the star. Stars that are similar to our own Sun, or are even less massive, are generally going to survive the TDE, even though they are going to lose a large chunk of their mass, while more massive stars will most likely get completely destroyed, creating a much larger accretion disk. And the majority of the star material in this case is going to be creating the accretion disk and all of these very powerful emissions with only a very small part of the star's mass making it inside the black hole. Although interestingly, even among some of these recent discoveries, and usually, some of these sources were actually quite visible in the ultraviolet or even visible light, something the scientists did not really anticipate, with some of these black holes being able to produce more light than a typical supernova for several months at a time, but afterwards returning to their quiet state and becoming more or less invisible once again. And so even though there were some mysteries in regards to the emissions detected, most of them could be explained one way or another. But that's of course until now. In these three separate papers, the scientists discovered something nobody can explain or anyone expected at all. For some reason, some of these black holes reawakened and became active once again months or even years after the initial disruption event. And at the moment, nobody is certain what's exactly triggering these unusual delayed outbursts. With this one here being the first discovered, back in February of 2021. This was a radio burst that became active six months after the initial TDE. And though obviously it could have been explained by maybe something else falling into the black hole, not so long after this detection, the scientists discovered more. In this case, this was a very unusual rapid increase in radioactivity two years after the initial disruption by a relatively distant black hole. And then another one was found in a completely different galaxy, but in this case emitting radio frequencies but also X-rays. And so because these black holes seem to come back to life for unknown reasons, the scientists refer to them as zombie black holes. But I guess more importantly, at the moment there is no explanation for why this happens, and because this doesn't happen in every case, 
obviously presents a mystery nobody knows how to answer yet. But more importantly, because of these new detections, the scientists now think it might provide us with a lot of answers about the mysteries of black holes and more specifically the mysteries of the formation of their jets. Since these galactic jets have so much power over the evolution of different galaxies, their origin and their influence on the galaxies is currently one of the more important mysteries the scientists are trying to solve. But at the moment, there are only some theories explaining their origin. Most of them involve the magnetic fields and the magnetic lines formed around black holes by the very powerful accretion disks. And in this case, any radio wave emissions coming from these black holes can definitively help the scientists answer some of these questions. These radio waves are believed to be created when the plasma expelled from these jets crashes into some of the gas surrounding the massive black hole in the center, which in this case is believed to happen right after the star falls apart and creates the accretion disk, which then slowly starts to form the jets around the center. And so by detecting these delayed radio waves, the scientists might be able to resolve the mysteries of the formation of these jets. But when it comes to the actual formation of these radio waves, the scientists have at least one possible explanation coming from smaller black holes. Here we're talking about the systems often referred to as the X-ray binaries. The system with a black hole and some kind of a star, where the black hole absorbs the mass from the star and creates various X-rays. And so in this case, some of this gas that's spaghettified and forms the accretion disk could actually stay around much longer, for months or even years at a time. But with time, this disk that's initially relatively thick grows much colder and much thinner and becomes a lot more unstable. And eventually, because of the interaction with the magnetic field or the magnetic lines from the black hole, this disk can break apart and suddenly release some of the material into the outskirts of the black hole. In some sense, kind of similar to how our sun often has these magnetic reconnections which sometimes produce solar storms. And this material, as it travels away from the black hole, ends up crashing into the gas nearby, which then results in the production of very powerful radio waves and potentially some other emissions. And so in other words, all of this might have to do with the instabilities in this accretion disk, but also with very specific interaction between the magnetic lines and the density of the gas itself. Although the scientists still do not have the definitive answers for why this happens, but they do believe they've already discovered several other candidates that have not been published anywhere. As a matter of fact, this seems to be a relatively common phenomenon that nobody noticed before. But, like I mentioned, it's a phenomenon that could help the scientists solve a lot of mysteries about black holes and about how they form various features in their vicinity. And more importantly, what happens in the accretion disk and the jets when various objects fall into the black holes and become spaghettified. With several new telescope observations starting sometime this year and in 2023 and potentially discovering a lot more of these unusual phenomena. But I guess until then, well, for now it's just going to remain a mystery with some preliminary explanations. Once we discover more though, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, maybe share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.